There's no words that can come up against this Bible. It, it, it's just, it's not possible. These words are too strong for any man's words of wisdom. Right. Right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just repeating what the Bible says. That's all I'm doing. We are here to continue to repeat what the Bible says. Right. The Bible says that oppression will what? Come on. Surely oppression make it the wise man mad. The Bible says that oppression will make a wise man mad. He right. used to be a wise man. You understand? But he's been oppressed for so long. You understand? Coming to, to the to the to, what's the store called? Coming to the corner store, right? Coming to the whatever store it is, the Arab store, right? He's been coming here for so long that he's he he finally is mad about it. Right. So hopefully he takes that anger and channels it the right way right. to make a difference, right? Because we need brothers with a spirit like that. That's a mighty spirit he got, right? He mad, he want to do something, right? But he taking his anger out on his own people. Right. He need not to do that, right? He needs to gather with his own people, right. you understand? And after gathering with his own people, he needs to keep God's commandments right. with his own people to help build his nation and bring it back, That's all right? right. right. To heaven, bring it back to, re to restore it to the top where it's supposed to be, yes. not on the bottom. All right, it shouldn't be. It, sh it shouldn't. We shouldn't be acting this way in the ghetto. Jeez. All right, oh, no. it, we shouldn't be doing that. Right, we should all be walking around just like that if, if this Bible is closed. All right, because we all gonna be oppressed whether we know the Bible or whether we don't. Right, right? it's gonna make us mad regardless. Now the difference between us and him is we found the solution. Right, he's still looking for it. He ain't and he don't want to hear it. Right, he ain't want to hear a word we had to say. You understand what I'm saying? But this right here is the only thing that can make a difference, a change, give us a solution that's satisfying to us. Right. Nothing else is gonna satisfy, it's, it's not gonna satisfy us, right? It's not gonna do it for us, right? This has all the answers because it was written for us, right. specifically for us. This is our book, we need this to live today. All right, we need it to live. That was Ecclesiastes, was that it on that? All right, go ahead. Yep, come on. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. The Bible says that a gift will destroy your heart. That's your mind, right? How we've been destroyed today with gifts. How we've been destroyed today with gifts. Bring right? it out. You know what we get? Food stamps, right? Wick, Section 8 living. All these are gifts. From who? The same person that did this. So you telling me he gonna destroy you? All right, take your name from you, take your language, take your land, take everything you ever had to the point where you ain't got nothing. And he gonna come back and give you a a, a food stamp? That's what you gonna, he gonna and you and you happy? And then you gonna keep your man out of the house so you can keep his food stamps? That's a gift. That just destroyed you, you ain't even know it. It destroyed your whole heart. Now you think that you getting, the white man is providing for you more than the black man is. Because he, he, he removed your hedge from out your home and then gave you some peanuts. Here, you take this, just keep him away. Because as soon as he come back, I gotta take these food stands, I can't give you no more. Right, that's, that's what you call a gift, destroying your heart. You understand, that's a gift. So we need not to let these gifts destroy us. Right. All right. Some of us need food stamps today. I get it. Right. You know, you need the WIC. You need the uh, the uh, the Section Eight, the government, so on and so forth. But don't let those gifts keep you from doing what God says you have to do. Right. God says you must be instructed by a man. Ain't no other way around that. All right. And that man must be God fearing. God says that. All right. So there's no you. You cannot go around that. All right, you must accept that. All right, there's no other way. All right, for you to be instructed in righteousness. All right, lest a man teach you. He has to guide you, all right? So you can't sacrifice that for a check. You can't sacrifice that for a, 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 for a discount on your home. You can't sacrifice that for you to, 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 to keep the, 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 uh, the, the discounted uh, products at the grocery store. You can't do that. All right, you, you can't do that. All right, you can't do that. You gotta you gotta get the black man back in the home. That's the only way that this community is gonna be saved. All right, and I'm talking about the repentant black man. All right, the one that's keeping God's commandments. The
the one that's trying to instruct you in righteousness. That's the only way, all right, that we're going to be able to get back to restoring our nation and our community. It's not going to happen any other way. There's no gift, all right? That's a priceless. You ever heard something priceless? Ain't no gift that's priceless but a man, all right? Ain't no gift that's priceless but a God-fearing man. Jeez. You understand? Because he's going to set the whole world in order. Who, where can you find that? You can't go to the club and get that. You understand? You can't go on the, the social media apps, Instagram and all of that. You can't even go to the church and get that. It ain't nowhere you can go to. It's priceless. A God-fearing man that's keeping God's commandments, that's priceless. There's no value in that. So don't let the white man come give you a gift to destroy that thought, to make you forget that what you had is priceless. It can't be replaced. It can't be replenished. You understand? You, you, you talking about uh, uh, the man that God commissioned to set this whole world in order? And you gonna let the white man replace that with a check that come every month? Come with a house? Please. You understand? With, 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 some, with some food that's discounted? You gonna eat? God say you gonna eat. He gonna take care of you. He ain't giving you nothing that God ain't already saying that you gonna have. Right. Period. All right, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. All right, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. We need our men to stand up, to come, lead, take back this community, teach and instruct our women the right way to go. All right, come on. The book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Come on. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. What does God say? Seek ye first. The kingdom of God. God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Right? We went through all of the righteousness that you need in order to get the kingdom of God. Right? Now, is that going to happen immediately? No. It's going to take time. But what are you going to have to do along the way? You're going to have to make decisions. Right? And the decisions that you make need to be reflective of what you've learned out of this Bible. That's how that has to look. Right? Day after day. Day after day. So, after a whole year, there should be much change that's made in your life. And then the year after that, should you be doing the same thing? Should you be doing the same thing next year that you was doing the year before? No. You should be keeping more and more and more of God's laws. You should be learning and reading more about yourself in this Bible. Realizing more things that you need to fix. More things that may you may have thought you had down, but now nah, you don't. You still need that old woman all right that old woman is breaking God's commandments all right that's what that is all right put off that old man breaking God's commandments all right not doing the things that he said do this is the Sabbath day God says don't buy stop buying on the Sabbath day all right stop doing it stop cooking on the Sabbath day you ain't supposed to cook today it's the Sabbath day that's the commandment all right work your salvation out seek ye first the kingdom you're going to seek the kingdom by applying God's commandments. There's no other way to seek the kingdom unless you apply God's commandments. Yeah, you got to learn them first, but after you know it, what do you got to do? You got to stop wearing pants, right? God says women must wear dresses. They must not dress like a man. Women got to dress like a woman. A man got to dress like a man. Got to be a difference. God said that, right? So now you seeking ye first the kingdom is going to be what? I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna get rid of the pants that I have. I'm gonna buy more dresses. I'm gonna phase all my pants out, phase all my dresses in. Right. That's you seeking ye first the kingdom of heaven. God says, when you do that, when that's your mindset, come on, and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Everything is gonna be added unto you. All right, all things will be added unto you. You need a job, the Lord gonna take care of you. He know you need money. All right, you need to eat. Lord gonna take care of you. He know you need to eat, right? right? You need uh, uh, a father for your for your ch for your child. The Lord know you need that. Seek ye first the kingdom. He gonna put a father in your life to That's take right. care of that child and, and to instruct you. That's right. God said he gonna do that. But what you gotta do first? Seek ye first the kingdom of God That's right. and His righteousness. Do that first. The Lord will send a man. All right, that you can trust enough to marry you and to lead you. The Lord will do that thing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.